time we were here at Musical Buyers. Keep it up for the very funny Patty Mack, everybody. <laughs> Don't stop on my account. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Let's set a record for the decibel level of an 18 person crowd. All right, so let's do something really fun here, okay? Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide, well, I'm not gonna divide, I'm gonna talk to the women first, and then I'm gonna talk to the men. But I, it, it requires audience participation. If you don't participate, okay, like when a comic is up here and it's going great, you get feedback from the crowd, you feel invincible. When you don't, um, it's like, I don't know, uh, it's like getting molested by a silverback gorilla, okay? Yeah, and how I know that is none of your goddamn business. <laughs> it just, you're gonna have to take my word for it. So ladies, you're up. I'm gonna say something to you, and if you agree, I want you to make as much noise as possible. A woman's life is significantly harder than a man. <laughs> weak. That was weak. Okay, no, but seriously. Uh, now guys, you're up. I'm gonna say something to you. And if you agree, I want you to make as much noise as humanly possible. A woman's life is significantly harder than a man's. <laughs> Not one guy in this bar wants to get laid. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I just, hey, hey look, I set that trap every show. Every show it happens. I don't understand. Why is, I don't know where you were. I mean, I know where you well, I know where you should have been, okay? Um, now, the reason you didn't speak up is because in your heart of hearts, you actually believe that your life is harder than a woman's. And you would be incorrect. Now, I, I know, I know you're probably saying like, what the fuck, man? No, no seriously though, um, it's, but I laugh, like, Men will die on that hill. They absolutely would. They're not going to let that one go, okay? And they're going to, like, I hear these words all the time. Say, you know what I fucking hate, man? Every time you argue with a woman about whose life is harder, they always throw menstruation and pregnancy in your fucking face. <laughs> well, shit. I mean, look, just between us, does that strike you as, am I the only person here that finds that to be an incredibly odd time to expect a woman to fight fair? Like, look, in the history and the art of warfare, what it shows is, if you want to win a war, if you have the bombs, and the other guy doesn't, you drop the fucking bombs, okay? And menstruation and pregnancy are the Hiroshima and Nagasaki and the argument over whose life is harder, man or woman. It's, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you don't believe me, though, let's just examine the evidence, okay? From the age of 12 until the uterus quits, a woman bleeds every single month just to let her know that she's not pregnant. <laughs> now look, I wasn't there when the roles and responsibilities were handed out, um, but I will say with complete certainty that whoever negotiated on behalf of women <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> just unbelievable bed shitting of an epic proportion, okay? Like the G-string union just did not represent its membership effectively. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. I mean, look, like the fairest thing I can think of, and just, I'm just spitballing here, but given the, the logistical anatomy issues that we're dealing with, it seemed fair that men would menstruate and women would carry and give birth to the kids. I, I see, like, I can see a couple of people might be on board with that, and a couple of people are like looking at me like, dumbass. <laughs> okay, listen, so before anybody says it, yes, I know. You can't just sit there and say to people, Patty, they go hand in hand. If you don't menstruate, you can't get hurt. Well, thank you very fucking much, okay? I went to the human growth and development class. I had that god awful chat with my parents. It doesn't matter, okay? Just you and me, we can't make that kind of thing. You know what? We're talking about God here, okay? Like, supreme being, made heaven and earth in a week. You got a woman pregnant without having sex, and that kid was so fucking awesome, and he got tortured and put to death, and he rose from the grave. Like, holy shit, yeah, you and me making that happen? No chance. Like, for a supreme being, that's a slow fucking Tuesday, okay? <laughs> like, come on. I uh, just, uh, and I'm going to say as well that if bleeding every month to let me know I wasn't pregnant, if that was my reality as a man, if men menstruated, 
uh, I would be a bitch every single day of my fucking life. I would be unbearable. PMS would just be an amuse bouche to the bitchhood that I would bring to the table. Because that would be like the pre-premenstrual syndrome, the premenstrual syndrome, the during menstrual syndrome, and the postmenstrual syndrome. I mean, I'm fucking barrel. And people would be like, Patty, for fuck's sakes, man, why are you such a bitch all the time? Well, I'm glad you asked, actually. Uh, so here goes with that. Uh, I'm a bitch because in no oh, 18 days, 14 hours, 32 minutes, 16 seconds, I'm going to have blood running out of my cock for a week. <laughs> and you thought it was hard to get a blue job on a good day. <laughs> yeah, and don't even start me on the tampons. i got to get an erection just to put the goddamn <laughs> on the ah! Son of a bitch. Oh, no, and you know what? It's either that or it's because i got to do it all over again next month or because I've been doing it for 40 fucking years, or because my only options to get out of it were to get pregnant, have a hysterectomy, go through menopause, or death. <laughs> like seriously, anything, I just, again, we're civil service down, so I'm gonna put that out here. Anything that you do as a human being of an involuntary nature for 40 years of your life should at least Bare minimum should come with some kind of pension. <laughs> right? Age plus months of service gets, you know, double indemnity for the pregnancies. I mean, I know I offered up, like, see, men even say things like, you know, whenever they throw that, I mean, it's not my fault that they have that. You're right, you know, you're right. it's not men's fault that women have the anatomy and the circumstances. But, it's not their fucking fault either, for Christ's sake. No, it's not like they pulled up to a drive-thru. You know, uh, yeah, give me a uterus and 40 years worth of menstruals, please. <laughs> it wasn't a fucking choice, for Christ's sake. But you know, I, ladies, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm panning around the audience here. Um, you know what I admire most about women? And I know you probably think I'm just kissing ass, and I am. But, uh, no, I, but I admire the fact that women are so good sportish about the whole thing. Like, they just, they don't play that card enough. Like, I've had this conversation. So, you know what, I've said, so how many kids do you have? I have, I have three kids. And they are the love of my life. And I don't know what I did to deserve such happiness. You don't? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, for Christ's sake? You, you had kids, that's what you did. Oh shit, look, you don't remember having sex and then giving you no pleasure whatsoever and then it was followed by three months of uh, nausea, heartburn, and vomiting while you gave up nicotine and pot and alcohol and he didn't, right? But then when that phase was over, that was cool, but then you know what? It was replaced by the fact you grew out all your clothes so you had to go shopping, which isn't so bad. But then the kid got big enough and he started leaning on your sciatic nerve and you felt like you were being shit to bop, right? And then they got you into the birthing room and that's where the fun just started because you found out that your vagina wasn't big enough, okay? And so they gave you an episiotomy and they treated your, vi treated your vagina like a piece of filet mignon. You don't remember any of this. None of this things, son of a bitch. Like, look, if my body got used in light fashion to bring a human being into this world, I would never forget that, and more importantly, I'd never let that little prick forget it either. I'm telling you, i piss me off in the slaves. Junior! I want you to go outside right now and mow the lawn before you hang out with your friends. Aw, oh, why do I have to do it? You have to do it because I didn't swallow you. That's why. <laughs> That's right, Junior. The only reason that you have a pulse right now is because I have a gag reflex, okay? Now do me a favor. You there was 130 million of you in that fucking load, and I got you, okay? So quit being the poster boy for birth control and get the fuck out there. <laughs> Pleasant, aren't I? <laughs> no, seriously though, uh, I think what really blows me away about that is that I had to research that bit, and the 130 million, that is the average sperm count, the ejaculatory load of a human male. I mean, I didn't believe that. I, I, like, when I logged, I thought, I Googled it because that's what comics do. I thought it might be like 200. 
250, like 130 million, like, do I trust that number? No. Do I have the patience to prove it wrong? I, no. Like, if, I, if, I, if they said 200, 250, that's a number I would challenge. I would scoop it out of my belly button, I would put it in the oh, dish, gosh. and I would take it to the lab and I would count it, okay? Uh, 130 million, like, it's going to say, like, a JFK fucking go to the moon motivational speech. And my fellow citizens, we choose to count to 130 million sperm. And we do it not because it is easy, but we do it because it is hard. <laughs> tell you, man. But I, 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 if you haven't even thought about it, right now I can tell, like, you guys are doing this mental arithmetic, right? And you're like, 130 million, is that true? I was like a thousand blowjobs. <laughs> and I, I swallowed like 25% of the time. Like, I just carry the nine. Holy shit, I swallowed the Earth's population like 30 times. Oh, this is fucking horrible. But then you haven't even given birth yet. Because if a woman avails herself of the privilege of getting out of menstruation by having kids, well, boys, that's when you, I'm telling you guys, uh, Mr. 14 here, you can probably back me up on this, but if you haven't looked down the barrel of stirrups and watch the vagina try and bring a baby into this world, you have no idea the Y chromosome lottery ticket you hit, you should masturbate every single day. So thank your dick for the pain that it has spared you, because I am telling you right now, the only contribution you made was an orgasm. And it was not hers, okay? Let's just be crystal clear about that. Oh, look, I'd love to stand here and tell you that my two kids are born of earth shattering sex where the fucking bed frame collapsed and the pain fell off the wall, the dog went mental, and the neighbor called the cops. You can't do that in 60 seconds. It's impossible, okay? Like, men are about as important a procreation process as an Allen key is for a piece of Ikea furniture. Okay? But like, you will never make that little bastard without us, but once you make him, you'll never use us again. Thanks. I'm back in the house. Everybody, you want to, uh, let him hear it. He fucking murdered the whole time. Let him hear it.